Welcome back to the channel guys. We've got another episode of our new character series, episode 20 in fact, and I'm honestly really surprised we've been keeping this series going for so long, but I really do appreciate all the support on these videos. And if you could, drop a like on this video to support this series going forward. Now in the last episode, we acquired the infamous exotic hand cannon Thorn through a pretty lengthy quest, and if you missed that video, be sure to check it out. This episode, however, will be mainly focused on some of our rewards, engrams, faction, vanguard, and crucible packages, and other sources of loot. Also, Zer is in town, so we're gonna check out his inventory as well. But let's first start off with some engrams and some packages at the tower. All right, so we only have some blues, but we're gonna test our luck because blues seem to pretty much be the way to go these days. Oh my God, dude, and it happened. <laughs> Zalo Supercell from some blues. Dude, I'm telling you guys, the blues are where it's at. Blue engrams. All right, and Shax has a package as well. The Slayer of King. Event Horizon. Okay, we already have a really good roll on the Event Horizon. Yeah, this one definitely doesn't look as good as our old roll. So we'll probably end up infusing this one, but let's just double check. Now, yeah, I definitely we're going to infuse it into the other role that we have. We have a much better PvP focused role. So we're going to go ahead and infuse that to our good role because 399. I mean, that's that's legit. It's legit. Yeah, this one has uh, it has a long view, which is a decent sight, I guess. Not the best sight. And then, of course, it has Quick Draw and Hidden Hand as well. Very solid roll. Pretty happy about this roll. And then we also, what did we get? We got a Cloak. It's a 400 Cloak, but that doesn't, I mean, not the best roll. It's not a perfect roll by any means. Um, and what else did we get? We got a, we got a ship. And that thing is ugly as hell. All right, new monarchy. We're gonna try and go for that auto rifle again. I always want to try uh, for a god roll on this auto because it has a has the potential to be one of the best in the game. Oh, we got a shotgun. Okay. The shotgun isn't the best archetype, but maybe we got a decent roll. Let's see here, hand loaded, uh, hammer forged. Wow, double range and a range finder. Okay, that's honestly, I mean, the archetype's just not that good and accurized, okay? And um, the archetype's just not that good, but. Dance party in the tower in 2020 in Destiny 1. Man, this is why I love this game. Dance parties just don't happen in Destiny 2. And uh, this is a good time. So Zur is not here. His little mark of uh, the nine is not here. So we got to go to the reef. What's up, Zur? I... What do you got? I... Uh. I mean, this sucks. Yeah, this really sucks. We already have Thunderlord, of course. So we're just gonna go ahead and buy Heavy Synth and probably some uh, three coins because, um, yeah, then we can then we can go run strikes. Uh, I think I'm out of three coins. And then I think I'll probably buy a shard too. Um, just because it's always nice to have an extra shard for upgrading your exotics, you know? Thanks for nothing, sir. We were running a bit low on planetary materials, so we went ahead and bought some at the tower so we could continue to level our weapons and our armor. Doing this had us running low on legendary marks, so we decided to run some heroic strikes for both the marks and a chance at some exotics with our three of coins. Dude, I love throwing knives. Legendary. Come 
Oh man, stop hiding. Oh, what the fuck? No. Where's some... Where's some batteries? No. Alright, we're gonna toss the Nighthawk on. Whoa, what the fuck? Get out of here, man. It's in my menu. It's fucking cheating, bro. Get up, soldier. He's down. And we're gonna definitely pull this chest. Because uh, we do want to try and get a good roll. Oh my fucking god, Shrieker, Blast. Uh, we're gonna try and get a good roll on the arms. So let's see if we can't get a decent roll. I like the look of them, so I just want to get a want to get a usable roll, you know. The stats are pretty low, honestly, but it is hand cannon loader. Really liking this Parthian shot with Feeding Frenzy, even for um, PvE, it's more of a PvP roll, but this is pretty solid. One. Two. Fuck. Oh shit, I'm all alone out here. Fuck! He quick scoped. Oh! And we're not going to pull this chest because we have a god roll, a literal perfect roll of the uh, the Hood of Malak. Yeah, it's perfect. Perfect roll. I got really lucky the first time. Wiped. He was like a sliver of health. Oof. We're also not gonna open this chest. We already have a Tanix, uh, Tanix cloak. All right, Cade. What do you have for us? Yes, I do. Uh, I guess we went to the Postmaster. So this thing is like a Mida multi-tool archetype. Nothing special, honestly. That's it for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then be sure to leave a like, and I will see you all in the next episode.